everyone welcome back to my channel in another Thursday night thrift today we are going shopping at the Goodwill bins so I know a lot of you like the bins it's really hard to shoot any film at the bins because it's crazy um, it's not as crazy as it used to be actually it's pretty tame right now but still when they open the doors it's like the fast and the furious <laughs> everybody runs in and everybody has a um, place that they want to go you know some people go to the shoes some people go to the clothing some people go to the hard goods I go straight to the hard goods and when you first run in there there's there's no way you can be carrying a camera I would make you all sick <laughs> so I run in I do a quick sweep I grab 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 for anything that is something I need to grab and then I turn on the camera and I did, you know, then slow down and find some other things. So you will actually get to see me picking in the bins, um, digging <laughs> in some of the bins, and it should be fun. Before, as I said, before I turn on my camera, I did pick up a few things on my first sweep, and I'm going to share those with you. And then you can see a bunch of other things that I picked behind me. I did have a pretty big haul and I don't want to take up your whole evening with a lot of it. So some of it will just kind of skim through and other things, if they have value or I have, you know, something to say about them, we'll pause and I'll, I'll tell you then. But let's take a look at the things that on my first sweep I picked up. The first one I was really excited about because I just thought they were adorable and I got two, but I found that one was broken and that is this cute little mid-century modern demitasse cup and saucer spanish crown it's an iron stone made in spain you see that but look at how beautiful that design is oh the, the pattern is just so spectacular i would love a whole set of these all right, the next thing I found, I have found these in the past. I have sold these in different colors. In fact, I've sold one like this that was just a little bit bigger. Um, I had a blue one that was big, big. Um, this is a bubble lid apothecary. They call it apothecary jar. It is made in Belgium. They're always marked with the Belgium mark on the bottom. And I love them and they sell pretty well. The smallest ones have the lowest values. I mean, in the bins, I'm paying for everything by weight. So I think it's $1.19 a pound, you know, I probably paid a buck for this and I can expect somewhere between six and eight dollars plus shipping, probably closer to the six dollar. <laughs> the next thing I found, oh, I was hoping and praying that I would find its match because this is amazing <laughs> and I know that these sell for crazy, crazy money if you have a set. Like, uh, this is a salt and pepper shaker, and I'm saying that if you have this set, $40 or $60 is what they're they're going for nowadays. This is a anthropomorphic kissing fish. It's made in Japan, single salt or pepper. Adorable. It, I looked everywhere for her little partner. Oh, I just love it. And obviously other people do too, because these kind of things are going for crazy money right now. So I don't know if I'll list the single. I have quite a few other singles, so she may just sit for a while. And if I find her partner, that would be amazing. I have not found these pink faced ones. So she's rare too. find a lot of yellows. Look at this. These are charming tails. This is just a resin, but the detail is so awesome. In fact, there's a little, where is it? There's a little tiny ladybug right here. Isn't that cute? And look at them. Their tails, look at the tails wrapped around the limb. The detail is just so cute. These go for good money. I was surprised to see this, and especially in this condition with its little bowl completely intact. So it's called a candy dish. The name of this one is Love Expressions. It is a Fitz and Floyd, sorry, I meant to say that first. It's a Fitz, the Fitz and Floyd piece. 
and it is dated. It's not dated. Usually these are dated. Anyway, it says that it's 93 out of 210. I don't know if that's, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it is adorable and these do sell well. One of these sold in December for $49.99 and another one sold right before Valentine's Day, which makes sense, right? For like $35. The ones that have sold more recently are in the lower like $20 range, but even if I got $20 for this, that's a pretty good find for a bins haul. I'm probably going to ask a little bit more because they're not a ton listed and I think that they will sell. The next thing I found was this beautiful blown glass ball stopper with a big cork on the end. I know how much stoppers on their own can go for because I have been looking for a couple for some Empoli um, genie bottles that I have that I'd love to get a stopper for. They're expensive. <laughs> so I know that this will sell on its own. Somebody has cracked theirs and they want this and I will have it for them. And then last, I was excited to see this piece. I did something funny. I'm going to show you one side of it because this is how I located it. Look at how grimy. <laughs> it was so dirty. Now it's missing a lid. It's kind of like a tiny little ginger jar shaped cloisonne brass piece. It's brass. Look at what happens when you wash it. Look at how brilliant. It even has some little flecks of like gold in there. It's so pretty. I would have loved to find the little lid for this. But even just this little piece, somebody will definitely want this. There are a lot of people now collecting brass in general, but the cloisonne is going up in value as well. All right, so that was everything that was in my cart before I turned my camera on. Now let's go back to the bins and do a little shopping. Here we go. There are all my things that you just saw. Now let's take a look again at these bins and see what I may have missed. There's some nice glass in here. I love those. That was a big piece. I love these pieces with the lids, but the weight of them is just, uh, if I had a use for them, and I think I've said this in the past because they show up in the bins all the time. If I had a use for them, I may um, grab one. And that little flowered frame back there with the mirror was cute. I don't know why I didn't give that a second look. All right, I was kind of excited to see these pieces because they were cool looking. I'd never seen them before. Apparently this is a set that was sold at Target by Chrissy Teigen. Um, it just, they had a really kind of cool feeling to them. And I thought about them. It had its original gold um, spoon in there, but you could see that that knob right there was repaired and really poorly repaired. So I had to pass on them. I think somebody else picked them up. I remember seeing them in somebody's cart, so hopefully somebody's using them. This was a nice little candle set, um, but very heavy. And it's one of those things that it's probably not gonna sell well. Um, I wanna say it was like a Better Homes and Garden candle set, three candle set. Um, I could potentially use it, but it really doesn't match my decor, so I kinda just left it for somebody else, but I'm sure somebody took that. And then I found this nice little monkey pod piece. You know, I love my boho and I love these monkey pod pieces. This is kind of unique. It has a really nice long stem. So it's kind of like a, a handle here. And there's some detail here within the leaf, which is kind of unique. I haven't seen that before. But it has this really neat kind of organic shape with that detail, with that stem. I like it. I like it a lot. Would you like some peanuts? <laughs> How about a, a little bit of candy? <laughs> this is something else that I found that I did not capture. This is also one of my favorite pieces that I found. It is a cast iron paper towel, or you could do like two rolls of toilet paper. Dog, wiener dog, I think this will do really well on eBay. They come apart, These this tail comes off, of course, and I can mail it, it's gonna be about that long. <laughs> and it'll be a little bit heavy, but how awesome is that? He's got a pretty like salty look about him. Like I'm taking this job very seriously. 
I hold your paper towels. I'm still very curious as to how some of these things make it to the bins. Like that cast iron dog, it didn't have a price on it. I don't know if it just got here directly or if it was donated and went through the store. Sometimes I think that they have overstock and they just kind of funnel things straight to this, you know, bins area. But I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't have any like inside information. Now you saw me pick that up. And once I realize it has a lid, I do pick this up. This weighs about nothing and had all of its pieces in there, including the little piece to <laughs> put it up on the wall. It says, every day holds a possibility of a miracle. And these sell really well, 15, 20 or higher, depending on, you know, what the saying is. I found a similar saying that did just recently sell for 20 so nice little find. Here we go into the massive bins that are full of just everything. You just never know what you're going to find in here. Um, I tread carefully, especially without gloves. You'll see me kind of moving things around off the surface instead of just digging right in. Because you just never know. <laughs> I could tell you some horror stories. Oh, and then I found this little guy. I use so many of these at the shop to hold plates and to hold, you can hold books, you can hold, you know, all kinds of stuff with these. I also use them to take my photos. You know, I kind of like to use the style of the holder to display whatever I'm, I'm displaying. So this is kind of a cool vintage looking holder and it's nice and sturdy, it's plastic, but it will come in handy for sure. Speaking of plastic, there is so much plastic in these bins. And I don't know if you know this, but that stuff is expensive. I only know this because my mom uses a ton of plastic bins and organizers for her card making. And so when we're here, she always kind of runs to these areas where she wants to look and see what kind of organizers she can find. I do end up getting some of these, but we'll, we'll get back to that. First, I want to show you, well, there was this owl. I don't know what he was, probably a candle holder. <laughs> he was heavy and I'm sure somebody else grabbed him. And then this, I want to show you this. How fun is this? This is like, I would have loved to have this as a kid because it has like that action to it that makes you feel like you're actually doing something. So not only does it like run, but when you cut, I'm gonna cut my arm here. So if anybody's, you know, gets a little queasy, <laughs> watch, watch what happens. Ah! It actually lights up, you know, throwing sparks there, which is so cool. Can you imagine? I think any kid would love this. Like I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build a house. I got my Bosch circular saw. These sell pretty well for about $15, which is great. This weighs next to nothing. So, you know, I could turn a buck into 15. That'll be nice. Right near where I just picked up that piece, I spotted these labeled pet clippers and I needed to check these out. Turns out all the pieces were in there, including the paperwork. Not only did I find the pet clippers, but I found the little pet shedder as well. So somebody had donated some grooming stuff and I found it which is great because I'll actually include this with it and it'll be a little bit of a value added. I will share what I have found as far as sales comps, caps, as far as sales comps <laughs> on this piece. And yeah, it has everything in it. You may have spotted this. It was kind of just a black rubber looking thing. It turns out it's a 1995 Darth Vader mask. And you know, I kind of geeked out when I saw it, but Turns out it's not really worth anything. There are some that are. I put it in my cart, but looked it up later and learned that it really wasn't uh, that valuable. I did pick up this. Again, no value here, but this will go in the camper. Fun little battleship game. 
And then I told you about these. I, as I kind of saw the lids and then saw all of these over here, I realized I know exactly what I can use these for. You can see these plastic bins back here. They are the perfect size to get me organized in a space downstairs where I do all my packing and wrapping. So that's why I picked them up. As I was walking by this bin, something caught my eye. I saw what looked like a skull. And sure enough, there was this really cool hoodie that was completely covered in the front with a skeleton. And it's from Old Navy. I don't know if it's vintage. I think it is. I have not been able to locate this exact piece. But it is an extra large Old Navy glow-in-the-dark sweatshirt. It's a hoodie. It doesn't have a zipper. It does have pockets, which is awesome. I think this may go to my youngest nephew because it's kind of his size. And I think he would uh, wear it well. But super neat graphics and the fact that it just glows in the dark. I took it into the bathroom last night and I shut all the lights off and I was like, ooh, <laughs> it is really cool. They almost always have a bin full of movies. And today I actually found one that I wanted. I have not seen this yet, but I do know that it was made by the same people who did How to Train Your Dragon, and that is one of my favorite movies. So I, when I first saw this come out, I was looking forward to watching it, and I never did. This has the DVD in it. It does not have the Blu-ray, and that is fine. It's still going to allow me to watch the movie for probably 30 cents. <laughs> the book bins are probably one of my favorite places to go. These are the things that I found on this particular trip. Just a simple, you know, diary with a pen that fits right in there. This is a nice, you know, hard cut. It almost feels leather bound piece. This cost me 50 cents. one up for my mom because she is all about building cards and learning about color and color palettes. She already got a sneak peek of this uh, yesterday so I think she's excited to have it. <laughs> this one is great too. It's a Stephen King. And this is a first edition book. I will show you some of the comps I'm seeing. People are buying this for, you know, decent money. And these are great shipping out books on eBay. You can do by media mail, which costs, you know, very little. This is one that I did not capture on film. It is Stoner's Delight. <laughs> it says space cakes, pot brownies, and other tasty cannabis creations. So, you know, as everything's becoming legal, these are becoming, uh, you know, something that people are looking for. And actually, this one has some value. I will show you the comps. On my way from one of the book bins to the second book bin, I noticed in the corner here some things that looked a little out of place, like this uh, little eagle bell and these stone elephants down here. Now, this one was not in good condition. But this little baby one, he was, so I grabbed him. The one thing that I always look out for is in the corners of the bins where people will stop and they'll look at their stuff because people grab stuff and then they walk away and then they reassess what they have. I do the same thing and I make sure that I do it in a way that's like quick because I don't want any of those things to not get a chance to be taken home, right? So I normally, 
grab and then I step aside and I look before I even move to a different area so that I can give somebody else a chance to grab that thing that I've decided I don't want. Some people aren't as nice. <laughs> Some people decide that they're gonna move over to another area and in the corners of the bin, sometimes you'll find the things that they've decided to discard. Well, this guy was discarded and I picked him up. He's just a little alabaster or marble. He was the littler one of the two elephants. There was a mom and a baby. I just grabbed and saved the baby. One of the last times that I was at the bins, I got super lucky with some reference guides. So I'm always digging with the hope that I might find something that I can add to my reference guide library. And look at this. This was by far my favorite find in the book bin. I love when I find a reference guide. And here we have the Yadro reference guide. Yes, it was 1998, that's fine. It has so much information on all of their creations. And I have never found a Yadro in the wild that I could afford. <laughs> I have seen some at some, you know, more like antique shops, um, but they know what they have. So I hope one day I run into a Yadro in a Goodwill. They are beautiful and valuable. <laughs> And here are three more things that I did not capture while I was shopping and I just learned that as I was editing. So a few more things and we'll wrap this up. This is a nativity scene. It looks like it was originally sold for only $10. It does look like it has a little bit of age. Did it have a date on it? 2003. So it's, you know, 18 years. But all the pieces are in here. So I will probably hold on to that and sell it on eBay, you know, more towards October, November. Jillian Michaels is kind of a big deal, I guess. I don't, I don't do <laughs> whatever this is, but a lot of people do apparently. And a lot of people buy this set on eBay. I was thrilled to find this because it has all the pieces, all the discs. There's like 15 of them in here. Somebody's going to love that they can get this at a discount on eBay. So this was a great, I'm showing you comps. <laughs> this was a great find. I paid weight for this because it's not a book. I think maybe a dollar, a dollar and a half. That's awesome. And then finally, I am a big fan of scarves. I have a ton. I have too many. <laughs> I really do. Ask my mom. She's helped me clean out some closets. And we put together a box of scarves that I have to go through and decide which ones to get rid of. But this is new in the packaging. It originally sold for, I want to say $30. Yes, $30. Confetti loop in blush. I love these infinity scarves because they're very versatile. And this one is so soft. And it has multiple colors in here, like some little white and gray and pink. So it'll go with pretty much everything. I'm not keeping it. I'm not keeping it. I don't know how well these sell on eBay. Honestly, I haven't looked yet. I'm not keeping it. <laughs> All right, that was it. That was the whole haul. That was a major haul. Um, I thought I got pretty lucky. I feel like at the bins, I always find at least one or two things that make me feel like it was worthwhile to go, go there. It is not the most comfortable shopping because you're shopping with your head down in the bins, you're digging, it's, it's a whole different experience. So if you spend any bit of time there, you're on your feet, you're stooped over, by the time you leave, you're like done for the day. <laughs> and then of course I go next door to the store <laughs> and I shop more. <laughs> wow, that rhymed. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoy these bins adventures. I wanna do many more. I will be showing you the store shopping side next Thursday, and we'll interrupt that with a Tuesday tabletop uh, thrift haul, kind of like we did um, this Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's going to kind of be the cadence here for a couple of weeks. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I hope that if you have not subscribed that you are going to subscribe today. Just click it. Do it right now. Hit the alarm so you know when I put up a new video. Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes on the weekends. And then do me a favor and tell me, have you been to the bins? 
Do you know what this crazy place is? <laughs> it's insane, right? Tell me about your bins experience and hit that like button if you like this video. All right, what else? Share, share it out so that we can continue to grow this community. I love you all, I hope you're taking care and I will see you on Tuesday.